Hey there, Hillary. Are you there? Is now a good time to talk? Oh, I really hope it is because I have some big, big news that I just have to share with you right this second. <laughs> the thing is, well, you know your fiancé, Felix? Well, I stole him from you. He's all mine, so you'll just have to go through your silly little wedding all by yourself. Oh, Bull, I knew that this was all you. Do you have any idea what you've just done by doing this to me? <laughs> of course I know what I've just done by stealing your fiancé Felix away from you. <laughs> and what I did was I stole your fiancé, the man who you were supposed to marry, your man who you thought you were going to spend the rest of your life with, from you. And now we're going to run off and elope together. It really is all just so romantic once you stop and think about it. Don't you agree with me? You really have some nerve pulling something like this. Do you know that? I mean, just when did you and Felix even get that close anyways, huh? Well, I think we actually started to feel this way from the moment that we laid eyes on each other. You remember when you brought over Felix that one time to our house to introduce him to our family because you two had just gotten engaged, right? Well, it was then, on that day, when he came over to our house because you brought him, that we fell in love. I see. Well, fine. If you two really make each other that happy, then far be it from me to stop you. You can have him. <laughs> you don't have to pretend to be so tough just for me, you know? You're just upset that now you're going to be alone for the rest of your life. <laughs> I wonder how things are going over there at your wedding venue. I'm sure that people are already starting to whisper about where the groom could be. But don't worry. If anyone asks what is taking Felix so long to arrive, you can tell them all that I'm doing you the favor of marrying him in your place. Isn't that great? I already said that you can do whatever you want. I don't get why you insist on keeping this conversation going. You really are just so, so, so sad. Do you know that, sis? I mean, it's just so obvious how you're just trying to act tough right now. But I know that you're just heartbroken. What are you going to do with your life from here on out, huh? I mean, you don't even have a job, right? Weren't you totally relying on Felix to help support you? Well, what are you going to do now that your walking ATM has decided to go to another woman? I don't know what you're talking about. I have a very respectable job and no money troubles, so I don't know where you heard that. No, 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 no. Come on. There is no need to lie to me about this. I already have the whole truth. I know that you don't make that much money and that you need Felix to be comfortable. I mean, Felix makes a ton of money from his job, so that's why you quit your job when you two got engaged, isn't that right? So I just want to know what you're going to do with your life now that you don't have a guy like Felix to take care of everything for you. Well, I really, really appreciate your concern for me, sister, but I would rather you just butt out and leave me alone. Oh, come on. You don't really think I'm just going to not worry about my sister, right? We're family. Of course I'm going to worry about you. I mean, you're not even going to be able to keep living in our parents' house after this, so I'm just really worried about what you're going to do from here on out. I won't be able to live at Mom and Dad's house anymore. Just what do you mean by that? Well, isn't it obvious? Felix canceled his lease for the apartment where the two of you were living, so now you only have until the end of this month to pack all of your bags and move out. Did you really think you were going to keep living there for free? Wait, what? You mean, Felix just told the leasing office that we weren't going to be keeping our lease? But he can't just do that! Well, I'm afraid it's far too late to do anything about it now. It's already been done and there is nothing that you can do about it. So good luck living out the rest of your sad, lonely life! Hillary, are you okay? How are you doing right now? Hi there, Mom. I'm doing fine, I guess. I don't really know what else to say right now. Well, I just want you to know that if there is anything that I can do for you, you can always ask me for help, you know. 
That's very much like you, Mom. Thank you for always being there for me. But I really just don't even know what anyone could do in a situation like this. I mean, to think that my own little sister... That Opal would do this to me. Steal my fiancé on the day we were supposed to get married? I know. I really have no idea how she expects to come back from this. I know that your dad is just furious about this. He woke up the happiest I'd seen him in years, and now... And to think that the day started so well for everyone... I just can't believe that it's all turned to this. I'm really just shocked. I don't know what else can even be said about it. Though, I suppose that I really shouldn't be all that surprised by this. What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean that you shouldn't have been surprised? Did you know something about your sister and Felix? Well, I kind of noticed that they seemed to be getting along really well, but I guess I just never wanted to dig into it more than I needed to. I knew that something weird was up, but I did a bit of looking. Dad wanted to look deeper into what it could be. But I guess this is what I get for letting it go on so long without doing anything about it. I see. That must have been really hard on you then, Hillary. Especially knowing what you know now. I'm sorry that I never noticed that anything was going on either. I should have been more vigilant for my daughter. Mom, please. There's no way that you could have seen this coming more than anyone else. But whatever. I'm over it. I just want to work on putting this as far behind me as possible. I need a drink. Hmm. <laughs> I really understand how you feel, Hillary. But I don't think that you're going to find what you're looking for at the end of a bottle. But anyways, once you've packed up all your bags, you should come over to our house. You can still do your work even if you're at someone else's house, right? Yeah, my company really doesn't care where I'm working as long as I have a connection to the internet. Thank you so much, Mom. You've always been there for me, and I just want you to know that I really appreciate it. Hillary, please. You're my daughter. You don't need to thank your own mom for doing her job. I'm just sorry that things had to turn out this way. Me too, Mom. Me too. Mind if I ask you to make something really special for dinner tonight? Of course. I'll talk to your dad, and him and I will plan something amazing for us all to eat together tonight. But you shouldn't just lose this opportunity that you have here, you know? You have so many family members and friends who have to see you, and you should spend time with them. That's a good way to think about it, Mom. Everything is already paid for anyways, so might as well enjoy ourselves. Hey there, Hillary. It has been a really, really long time since you and I have last spoken, huh? I was just wondering where you were living right now. I am visiting back home right now, and I really wanted to see you. You've come back to visit him? What are you even talking about? Why are you even here? I mean that I've come back to our hometown because I'm pregnant and I want to have my child where our family came from. And of course, it should go without saying that the child I'm carrying right now is none other than your former fiancé, my current husband, Felix's. Wow. Well, I think you really have some nerve coming back to town like nothing has happened at all. I mean, you really have some serious nerve to do that, do you know that? I think if I were you, I would never want anyone who knew me to ever see my face again. I think I would be way too ashamed of what I've done. Well, what else am I supposed to do? I'm pregnant with a baby, so I have to have it in our hometown. I mean, isn't this what everyone does? I'm not about to skip doing this just because of what some nosy neighbors might have to say about me. Besides, I just know that Mom and Dad are going to be so happy to see me. This is going to be their first grandchild ever, after all. I'm sure they'll let everything go in light of that, don't you think? You really think that Mom and Dad are going to want anything to do with you? You really don't know a thing, do you? You better not try to come near me or our parents ever again, got it? Oh, come on now. There's no need to be like this, you know? Really, why are you being so rude to your pregnant sister? 
I'm only coming back because I want my family to support me while I'm pregnant. So anyways, really, what I'm trying to ask if you could move out of mom and dad's house for me. And just why on earth would I ever want to do something like that for someone like you, huh? Well, because I'm doing what's expected of me by coming back home to have my kid, so you should do whatever you can to help me by moving out of mom and dad's house and making room for me. Opal, literally what in the world are you talking about? Do you really think that you could just show up and demand that kind of thing from me? <laughs> oh, please. You're going to talk to me like that when you're nothing but a little leech on our parents? The least you could do for our family is to give up your room for me, your pregnant little sister. Besides, you have to know by now that mom and dad would much rather have you out of their house and hair than being the bum that you really are. Although I can't say that I blame you for wanting to stay so long there. After all, they are really, really good cooks. That would be tough to give up. Opal, do you have any idea just how much of a terrible person you are? I mean, do you have any self-awareness at all, or do you just go through life not thinking about a single thing? You think that I'm joking with you. I am pregnant with a child. I am thinking about the future, and that's why I'm here right now. So in case you haven't noticed, I am being the more productive daughter and now have more value than you in this family. So get that through your thick head right now. You really need a reality check, do you know that? I mean, you want to talk about being family, but then try and kick me out of my own room? I'm sorry, Opal, but nobody is in the mood to take orders from you at all right now, got it? So, why don't you just turn around and never ever come back here? There you are again, trying to act so tough for me even though you know I'm the stronger out of the two of us. <laughs> I mean, do you really think that I'm going to be scared over my unemployed sister who still lives with our parents? <laughs> Fat chance! And just who do you think you are to make fun of people being jobless when you don't work either? I am pregnant. I don't have to work because I have a good excuse to get out of it, thank you very much. Besides, just why in the world would I waste time working when I have my husband, Felix of course, to make all the money that we'll ever need? There's just no point in me even going out to work since it would hardly make a difference compared to what Felix is bringing home every month. Hmm, so you really think that Felix is as rich as you imagine him to be then? Aww, are you really concerned about my married life when you don't have a job, man, prospects, and any hope for the future at all? Just who do you think you are to talk to me like that, huh? I'm sorry, Opal. Are you done here? I have things I need to get back to doing now. Of course we're not through here. I'm still going to be coming home and I still want you out of your room so that I can stay there. You're old enough to be married, and yet you're still living with mom and dad. If they aren't going to kick you out into the real world, then I will. Hmm. Well, that's going to be a problem when my boyfriend and I live together in a nice condo building. <laughs> you're such a liar! Do you really think that I'm going to buy that? You're so pathetic, it's beyond sad at this point. Well, I don't know what to tell you, except that I'm being totally honest. But, yeah, it's the truth. I don't even live with mom and dad anymore, so... I mean, did you really think that nothing would change in anyone's life for two years while you ran around and did what you did? There you go again, trying to talk down to me. I thought I told you to cut that out. I already know that you're lying, so I don't get why you insist on being like this. But I know that there's no way that you're dating anyone, that's just too much. And to think that on top of that, you're trying to tell me that you and him live together in some nice big building? <laughs> nice try. Even if I were to accept that all that were true, I bet that it's not even your place. You just moved from leeching off mom and dad to some poor sap. There you go again, making assumptions about things that you have no idea about. Just when did I say that it was my boyfriend's condo, huh? You really have no idea at all about what my life has been like. <laughs> well, I know that when we last talked, you had a terrible job and could barely even support yourself with Felix there to cover all the big expenses. I already told you that when Felix and I got married, I didn't quit working or anything like that. 
I just started freelancing with my skills instead. I was able to find clients willing to pay me much more than I was making when I was working for the company that I was at before. And since I don't have to go into an office or anything like that anymore, it really is much easier since I can work from anywhere I have internet, basically. Wait a second. You mean that this whole time you've been working as a freelancer? <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. I had no idea about any of that. But if you're a freelancer, then that's even worse than not having a job at all. <laughs> wow, Opal, I really have to ask, do you ever get embarrassed about being so wrong about every little thing that you send to me? I mean, I feel like I would just start to have some shame after a while. The only person who should feel ashamed about themselves and their lives is you, Hillary. You've done nothing with your life and all you're doing is lying to me about what you're doing. This settles it. This whole thing is just a huge fib. You're still living with mom and dad and you haven't had a job in years. So you better pack up your bags because I'm going to be arriving to mom and dad soon and I will be kicking you out whether you like it or not. Got it? Opal, what is the matter with you? Have you not read any of the messages that I've been sending to you? I literally don't even live with mom and dad anymore. I live together with my boyfriend. There is no room to even pack up and move out to make room for you. Got it? Oh, yeah. I can't wait for you to show me around your condo and your boyfriend when I get to mom and dad's. I'm sure that you guys are living in the lap of luxury together. <laughs> you really have no idea at all about what you're talking about, do you? Hey, Hillary, are you there? Seriously, I need you to respond to me right away. What the heck is going on? Did I miss something? I mean, what is this? Why is there nothing where our house used to be? It's just a parking lot here now. Well, that would probably be because last year, Mom and Dad moved out of their house and sold the property to a development company who then proceeded to build a parking lot where Mom and Dad's house used to be on the property that was sold to them. So basically, to sum this all up in a very succinct and easy to understand brief encapsulation of the information that you're looking for now that you have gone there and seen that Mom and Dad have moved out of their house, Mom and Dad no longer live there. But, I mean... So you're just telling me that Mom and Dad moved out of their house. And then not only that, but they sold the property that the house existed on to a company? And then that company demolished the house that was on the property that Mom and Dad sold to them, and in that same place they decided to make a parking lot? Why didn't you tell me about any of this earlier while we were talking? I told you that I was going to Mom and Dad's house. You should have told me that it isn't there anymore. I came all this way and there's no house left. And just why should I have anything to tell you about it, huh? You're lucky that I even responded to this message to explain to you that Mom and Dad moved out and sold their house and that a parking lot was built where their house used to be. So if you really think that I owe you anything after all that you've done to me, you really do have something else coming. But then, wait a second. What am I supposed to do if Mom and Dad aren't living in their house anymore? I don't know. I guess you'll probably just have to go back to your house with Felix and have your baby there. But, no, no, you don't get it. But that just isn't going to work for me at all? Can you please just tell me where it is that Mom and Dad are living right now if they are not living here where they used to? You want me to tell you where our Mom and Dad are living right now? <laughs> no way. I am never going to tell you the place where both of our parents are currently residing. But why not? Why won't you tell me the location of the place where our parents are currently living now that they've moved out of their old house? Well, that's because Mom and Dad and even I want nothing to do with you ever again. You aren't a member of this family anymore. You made your choice when you betrayed me on the day that I was supposed to get married to Felix, but instead you stole him from me. But wait, you all can't just cut me out of your lives like this. I mean, this is something we should all deal with together as a family. How can I say my piece if I don't know where anyone lives? 
It's okay, I don't really think that any of us care all that much about what you have to say anyways, so you can save it. And that's why I am not going to be telling you where it is that our parents have moved to. Well, fine. If you aren't going to tell me where Mom and Dad are living right now, then I guess I'll call Mom and have her tell me herself. Yeah, that really isn't going to work out any better for you. You should know. Hey, Mom! Are you there? It's your youngest daughter, Opal! I know it's been a long time since we've talked, but you still remember me, right? I was actually going to visit home to surprise you and Dad, but when I got to where our house used to be, there's nothing but a parking lot here. So, anyways, I was wondering if you could please tell me where it is that you and Dad are now currently living since you both moved out of the old house? I have lots of presents that I need to give you, so please tell me where I can go to give them to you. Hello and goodbye. Whoa, 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 wait, hold on, hold it right there. It is me, your daughter. You can't just say hello and then goodbye to me. Actually, you are no longer my daughter as far as I am concerned. I have no idea who you are, but you are nothing to me. What are you talking about, Mom? It's me, it's Opal. Mom, it's me, your daughter. You remember me, won't you? Please tell me that you know who I am. I'm sorry, but I only have one daughter, and her name is Hillary. I don't think I know a single person named Opal. No, I'm thinking about it, and no one really comes to mind at all. Wait, no, Mom! I know that Hillary said you all wanted to cut me out of your life, but not like this. I didn't think that she was being serious. Please, Mom, you can't just pretend like I never existed. I'm your daughter, you have to know that. Just please tell me where you and Dad are living. I'm really sorry, but I am not about to give out my address to some person I have never met in my life. Mom, please, don't talk to me like this. It's me, your daughter. You know me! I've tried calling Dad's phone over and over again, but he isn't taking any of my calls or getting back to my messages. But we're all family! You can't just treat me like this! You're being so cruel to me right now. Cruel? You want to talk about cruel? I don't think that the person who stole their own sister's husband has a right to talk about what is and isn't cruel. Do you have any idea the pain that you caused, Hillary? But I mean, does this mean that you remembered who I really am then, Mom? Well, I don't know how I was supposed to keep up that act when you were sitting there crying as if you were the victim in all of this and not your sister. But if you really want to know, your father and I haven't and will never forgive you for what you did to poor Hillary. And by the way, you should also know that we all know your little secret. Wait, secret? What are you talking about? What secret are you talking about that you're saying that you all know about? You know exactly the secret that I told you that we all know that you were trying to keep quiet, but has become known. Wait, what? That sentence barely even made sense. I don't get it! Oh, please, you have to know it wasn't my fault! It's just that all my life, I felt like Hillary was the better sister. I thought that if I could just make Felix mine, that it would prove that we were equals. Please don't leave me, Mom. I didn't think that things would go like this. Nobody ever compared you to your sister, and nobody ever put you down compared to Hillary. If you really did always feel that way, then that is unfortunate. But that is still your problem, and you should have sought professional help for it. Wait, what? You mean, you think I should have just gone to see a mental health professional about this complex that I've developed? <laughs> That's the stupidest advice that I've ever heard! <laughs> 
Well, you can call it what you like, but it doesn't change the fact that you've lost your family because of delusions that you have never sought to address in a healthy way. But when you betrayed your sister like that on the day that she was supposed to be getting married, you crossed a line that is never going to be uncrossed. You removed yourself from this family. Wait, what? What do you mean by that, Mom? You can't really think that I thought that I was removing myself from the family when I did what I did, right? I heard that you were coming to try and surprise us with a visit, so we told everyone that we know to not tell you our address under any circumstances. So you're never going to find us. The smart thing to do would be to turn around and go home. If you even have a place to go home to, that is. So then you really do know about the secret that I was confused about you knowing earlier. I didn't think that you actually knew it, but that last sentence really confirms that you must know it. Well, anyways, I don't have anything else to say to a woman like you. So have a good life. Hey, sis. Are you there right now? I was just curious why you told me to go back to Felix's earlier. Are you stupid or something? Why do you think I would tell you something like that? It's because I want you to go home already. Right, but I mean... Do you have any idea at all why it is that I'm coming home by myself to have this child? I'm sure that you have to know the truth if you've talked to Mom about this at all. But what I don't get is why would you pretend to not know the secret that I'm talking about that you are saying you don't know but that I think you know because Mom knows and that's how I know that you know! Well, I don't think this really has anything to do with me. It sounds more like a question that you need to answer yourself. Wait. What do you mean? So you do know, you know that Felix is going to be arrested. I had heard that Felix appeared to have gotten himself in some kind of legal trouble or something of the sort. The articles I was reading have something to do about running scams from the company. I guess it really is a good thing that you stole a man like that from me. <laughs> but then you know how much trouble I'm in since he is going to be arrested for doing exactly what you said. That is, scamming people through his company, which he is going to be arrested for, right? Well, I just don't think it's my business since it's between you and your husband. After all, Felix and I never got married, remember? Please, I don't have money and Felix's assets have been frozen. I don't have a place to go home to and I don't have any way to support myself at all. I'm already swimming in my own debt. You have to help me. I don't know how I'm supposed to go on like this right now. Y you have to do something. And just why in the world do you think that your problems have anything to do with me at all, huh? Please, you have to help me. I'm pregnant, and I have no money, and I'm homeless. Don't you have any pity for me in your heart at all? Oh, please, are you still telling people that you're pregnant? You know that no one believes that, right? But I don't get it. How did you figure out that I was lying about being pregnant this whole time? Because I already knew that Felix isn't able to have any children of his own. So if you were really pregnant, then there would only be a few explanations of what could have happened. Anyway, I don't even know why I'm wasting my time talking to you. You know that none of us are going to help you and that you've already lost your place in this family. Why don't you just disappear out of all our lives again and leave us alone, huh? After that, I blocked Opal on everything as she proceeded to blow up my phone with so many messages begging me for help, and not to leave her alone. And after I blocked her, I never heard from her again. I heard that she even managed to track my boyfriend and I to what city we were living in, but she still couldn't find us. She begged family and friends and everyone she could think of for information on where our parents as well as I had moved to, but no one was interested in telling her. In fact, I think most people took that as a sign to block her as well. So, if Opal really was drowning in debt and had no home to go to, then I really have no idea what she's up to at all. 
I hear some news come down through the grapevine now and then about someone who thinks they might have seen her. As for Felix, I heard he was arrested and is serving jail time for his fraud charges. He also had no one willing to stand up for him after what he did to me either. So I really have no idea who Opal could have turned to for help. But anyways, I say good riddance. You might be wondering about where it was that my mom and dad did end up moving to. Well, my boyfriend was actually a very wealthy real estate agent, so when we all decided to move away from our hometown to avoid Opal, just in case she were ever to return one day, like she eventually ended up doing, he was able to help my parents find a good deal on a new place to live. Funny enough, if Opal had managed to track my boyfriend and I down, then she certainly would have been able to find mom and dad because after they sold their house and moved out, they moved into the condo just a few floors beneath ours. We really enjoyed getting to live so close to each other, but we all realize how dangerous it might be if Opal were to show up. 